Bear with me. It's Scooby Doo. <laughs> but it's not. Scooby Doo, where are you? My Hey, hi, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are talking about Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. Now, as you may have noticed from the opening, it is based off the Scooby-Doo gang. And I mean, it is based on the, This book is a big old homage, a big old hallelujah to Scooby-Doo. And I'm half for that, like, for real. Now, the main thing with this book is a lot of people, through Goodreads, through the reviews, if you do look, it's like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I fucking love this book. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I love this. And I want this to be a series. It isn't, but I want it to be a series. So, basically, just at the top in big old red letters, it basically says, A nostalgic celebration of horror, friendship, and many tentacled interdimensional demons spawn. Now, this is a horror paranormal comedy. There is some humour to this. There is some paranormal stuff in this. And it's definitely got some horror aspects to it. And I'm obsessed with this. So, we have the gang. We have Andrea, known as Andy. We have Kerry. We have Nate and Pete and Tim the Wine Marana, who is a very good boy and we love him. So the story is, as kids, 13 years ago, they solved this case of the Sleepy Lake monster. They caught him, they unmasked him, he went to jail. Things, you know, things go on, they grew up, they separated, they grew up, they got did own, their own things. Now the thing is with this, is that that 13 year old case has haunted them through all these years. The lives they should have enjoyed, they haven't. It's just been horror and ruin one after another. So it gets to a point where Andy can't take it anymore. So what Andy does is Andy waits for the bad guy to come out of prison. Now I say bad guy, I use that very loosely. Basically what happens is uh, as she basically grabs hold of him, she very quickly realizes that this person who's been, who said it to Put himself in jail, was like, yeah, I'm guilty, put me in there. He is traumatized as well. He is scared. He, I'm going to put this as loose, loosely as possible. He literally pisses himself in fear and thought of going back to where they this whole thing happened. And that's the moment when Andy realizes all this stuff that's happened to not only herself, but to the rest of the gang that has traumatized them to this point. It's not all really in their minds because there's there's this person outside of the group who is just as traumatized and dealing with this. It's not in their mind. We have to go back. We have to sort this out. Maybe this case is not finished. So Andy basically goes around and gets the rest of the gang together. The only thing is you'll notice is that one of them is grayed out. That is Pete. Now, this is not a spoiler because it even says it on the back of the book. Pete is dead. And... While that may sound really sad, it pretty much is because of the way he died. Um, which the book will tell go into and go into all, but Nate can see him. No one else can, but Nate still seems to see this spirit of Pete. Which is a whole different ball game, but it goes into a little bit of. Basically, they, you know, Andy gets them all, they have this huge road trip of going there, and they finally get to um where it happened which is Kerry's hometown and as they get there they very quickly realize well the town looks just as beautiful as it did all them years ago a lot of places have closed down not only that there seems to be this weird metaphorical shadow just hovering over the town something is not right and it has affected the town in so many ways where it's just not what it used to be Apart from one place, and one place only, which is where they have to go. Now, moving away from that, I'm gonna go, because I don't want to break, I don't want to ruin the story. That's basically just the, the, the rough, as rough as I can get with it. So I'm not going to go into it anymore, because I need you to read this. I need you to buy it, I need you to read it, because it is a very good book. Now, I'm going to go into the pros and cons of this. So pros, first of all character depth they have character depth they have their own personalities their own quirks their own fears everything the things that they yearn for 
certain little little things that from all the th all the traumas and everything else they've had to go through they've got little little quirks that they all have and it's beautiful and i love it so much the other thing is it's positive lgbtq rep representation i'm so bad with that word um it's not forcible it's pretty much you are who you are there's nothing wrong with you and we love you for that and that's just so beautifully done in this book seriously like i fucking love it the other thing is is the humor the humor is fucking fantastic in this i adore it it's made me laugh it's made me giggle and pretty soon after it's made me gasp as well because i'm just like oh shit um the other thing is the action the action is fucking amazing normally in stories where they have action sometimes it can be very daunting for me i can find where it just drags on i get that they're trying to describe what's going on but it doesn't have to drag on to be this like thousands and thousands of pages of this one scene i get it but with this it's so smooth and flows so easily that i very quickly get into it and you're pretty much on the edge of your seat going oh my god what's going to happen next because it's just i can't even i just can't get over this book I really need this to be a series. I know I keep saying this. The cons, the cons, number one, it's not a series. They left it open-ended, so it does have like a little, ooh, this could, there could be another book. There's not. I want them to go into it because I want to know what happens. I want to know what happens to these characters. Like, I want to see them flourish and grow into these amazing things. Yes, they've dealt with one thing that's happened to them, but there is something else and I need to know. Um, the other thing is, is that it doesn't, ha it's happened like twice in this, uh, there's 442 pages in this by the way, but there's just this moment where there's a bit of dialogue, they're having a little chatter, and then all of a sudden it's like, BAM, it's in script form, and it doesn't really take you out of the story, it's just kind of like a, huh that's kind of odd moment, but I'm still in the story, it's fine, it's just an odd moment, the one thing that has broken the immersion for me it's happened three times three times i counted i have the things here it's happened three times it's that there's there's these moments where it's just like kerry sitting on the grass blah 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 blah, blah. bit of description and all of a sudden it's like there's no space but it's just a jumble of words out of nowhere and it annoyed me because it broke the immersion for me but I still love the book, don't get me wrong. I don't know if it's just my books. My friend didn't have that problem. Maybe it's just my book, you know? But I love this book. What Do I recommend this? Fuck yeah, I do. I just want people to understand how beautiful and well-written this book is. Yeah, I had them little flaws that I just spoke about, but everything else is like top notch. It's like, if I could put it for five out of five, I would, but it's just that little bit of immersion breakage is like four and a half but seriously go out read this book give me your own thoughts of it because i would love to know and if you know of any books that have the same sort of feeling and nostalgic as this based off something like scooby doo let me know because i want to know i want to read because i fucking love this i enjoyed it i want to find more of it but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Just below, we've got some social media. We've got Discord, we've got Instagram. We've got everything down there, down below. I also have some links for some people that I've gotten to know. So other booktubers that I think you would enjoy, I've put them below. Have a look, have a listen, all that jazz. I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Come on.